The complaint here doesn't stem from the result of an inquiry, rather how it was handed out and who had access to that ruling and when. If your flight is delayed or you run into trouble on a trip, it can be more than just annoying. Just ask Air Transat passengers stuck on the tarmac at Ottawa International last July. We received a, less than a half a glass of water during the whole five hours we were on the plane. That case sparked an inquiry by the industry regulator, the Canadian Transportation Agency amid criticism and concern expressed by politicians. Well, the, the tarmac was... delay after three hours, uh, all the passengers have the right to be deplaned. The agency investigated and last November was about to rule on what Air Transat should have done for its customers instead of leaving them on the plane. But beforehand the CTA gave the airline a heads up. And what happened here was fundamentally wrong and shows that we have a corrupt regulator. In this email from the agency's lawyer to Air Transat's chief legal counsel, the lawyer shares the decision, writing, as discussed yesterday evening. The agency then provided a copy of its decision to Air Transat, quote, released to you under embargo in advance of its release to the public, end quote, stressing the release should be shared internally on a need-to-know basis. I was disgusted. Air Transat told Global News it is not unusual for an agency or a tribunal to provide the parties or sometimes journalists with a decision ahead of time under embargo to allow them to read it before it's released publicly. The CTA did alert the media the day before that a decision would be released, but didn't share the contents of that decision, including plans for an almost $300,000 fine. The tip-off gave Air Transat a heads-up advantage on how to manage its response. The very body that taxpayers fund to protect them, the consumers, is actually serving the private interests of a private company. The agency told us it is standard procedure in cases in which there is a high level of public interest to release information ahead of time, but it was only the airline that got that heads up, not consumers or other groups. All of this is really important to flyers because a regulator has a responsibility to keep an airline on its toes. Gabor Lukash is suing both Transat and the agency on behalf of the public, arguing the penalty for that tarmac breach was grossly inadequate. Farah, back to you. Okay, thank you, Sean.